Spotify says to hit negative 14 luffs, but my favorite songs don't do that. What gives? What gives is that <laughs> it's just misleading in general. It was a misleading article. Spotify knows that if your song is quieter than somebody else's or your song's louder than somebody else's, that it's going to create a poor experience for Spotify. And people having to pull out their phones constantly and adjust the volume and then put their phone back in their pocket and pull it out and adjust the volume, people are just going to not use Spotify. They have that data and they understand that. And so what they what they wanted to do was shoot everybody for a specific like Luffs area that they can target. Um, now, when you go download your favorite songs and use them as reference tracks, nobody is following that negative 14 Luffs rule. And that's because you don't need to. Spotify is going to do what Spotify does. Your job is to get the best sound possible and send it to Spotify. Now we have the options for lossless audio, which means that people are going to be able to hear your song the way it was intended. And Spotify just released that. So if you were hitting negative 14 luffs to optimize for Spotify four years ago, well, now people are listening to your song in lossless and you just did yourself a disservice. So you should not be hitting negative 14 luffs. You should be hitting whatever luffs your typical genre shoots for. For each EDM, it might be negative six. For rock and metal, it might be negative six. For folk music, it might be negative 10. Download some songs, some of your favorites, pull them into your session, use a meter like a WLM meter from Waves and figure out what Luffs is your favorite song at. And then you can kind of shoot for that as a specific target. <laughs> I get so passionate about this. The amount of times that I get on, like I get on calls with people, try to figure out what's going on, diving into the sessions and they're like, I'm I'm trying to shoot for negative 14 loss, but it's just not sounding as loud. It's like, well, yeah, of course it's not. Of course it's not.